Hello, this is Tyler from 3D InfoTech, going over how scan data and probe data are measured differently in PolyWorks. While scanners and probes will have varying accuracies, we'll be looking at how PolyWorks interprets the data independent of hardware specifications. On this crankshaft, we will see how scan data and probe data can give different results for the same features. For example, this cylinder here has a probed diameter of 19.032 millimeters, while the scan diameter is 19.114 millimeters, a difference of about 80 micron. Meanwhile, the probed flatness for this plane is 100 micron, while the scanned flatness for the exact same plane is 144 micron. Looking at the data points being used, we can see why the scanned features have larger deviations. The probed points shown in the image above show that only a handful of points were used to measure the probed features. Meanwhile, the scanned features shown in the image below use hundreds if not thousands of data points to measure the feature, including the exact same probe points from above. Because scanned features paint a broader picture of the feature, and include so many more data points than the probed ones, scan features are more likely to have greater deviations, since they will include all deviating sections of the part. Now, these differences can be seen in alignments as well. When the data is aligned to the probed features, this circle here has a following XY location. However, when the data is aligned to the scanned features, that same circle is located in a different XY location. These measurement differences can be an important factor when deciding how to measure a feature. While scanned features can better describe how a feature is behaving, probed features can provide potentially lower deviations. I hope this helped clarify how the data types are measured and why they may differ beyond just hardware specifications. For more information and tips, check out the 3D InfoTech YouTube channel. Thanks.